Hello Mila, hello Jack. Welcome to Storytime with Grandad again. Today's book is Pingu and the Doctor. One morning, Mum had to go to the dentist. Pingu and Pinga were to stay behind at home on their own. Good luck Mum, called Pingu as Mum set off. Let's play dentists, Pingu said to Pinga. I'll be the dentist and you just open your mouth. Pingu was a good patient and sat quite still while Pingu poked around in her mouth, mouth with a wooden spoon. But when Pinga saw Pingu approaching her with Dad's work tools, she was very alarmed. Just a little work to be done, said Pingu cheerfully. No, Pinga screamed and began to run away. Pingu chased Pinga round and around the house until bump! Pingu ran straight into the upturned table and squashed his beak hard against it. Poor old Pingu. His beak hurt a lot and was starting to bleed. Pingu wrapped it tightly in a bandage. You'll have to go to the doctor, she said. Pingu and Pinga set off together for the doctor. There was a big queue outside and everyone looked very ill and unhappy. Pinga marched straight up to the doctor. Help, help, you've got to help, she cried. The doctor rushed Pinga inside. Now, where does it hurt, he asked. No, no, shrieked Pinga. I'm all right. It's my brother who's badly hurt his beak. He's outside. The doctor fetched Pingu in from outside. He tried to examine Pingu's beak, but Pingu took one look at the doctor's instrument and decided to leave. Hey, come back here, cried the doctor. As the doctor and Pingu rushed outside after him, Pingu gave them both a slip and tore back into the doctor's house. Quickly he began to telephone Mum to ask her to come to his rescue. While they waited for Mum to arrive, the doctor told Pingu what a brave sister he had. And here's a lollipop for a good little penguin who opens her mouth nicely for the doctor, he said. At last Mum arrived and patted Pingu's head while the doctor looked inside Pingu's beak. Only a sprain, said the doctor finally, but it'll have to wear a brace on it for a couple of days until it gets better. It was time to go home. You can look inside my mouth now if you like, said Pinga. The doctor smiled. I don't need to, but here's another lollipop for you instead. I've got two lollipops now, said Pinga to Pingu on the way home. I could keep one for you, or I could eat it myself. Mmm, said Pingu. The end. Bye-bye, Mila. Bye-bye, Jack. We'll see you soon. Bye.